The concept of uh, indigenous knowledge is uh, very important and uh, one of the reasons that uh, we talk about indigenous knowledge is because it's knowledge that pertains to uh, how to interact with the environment and the repercussions that uh, some of those actions uh, produce. And uh, in regard to Indigenous knowledge, this knowledge has been uh, handed down from generation upon generation. And it's tried, tested and true in uh, living with the environment, living in harmony with the environment and living with part of the environment and understanding the repercussions of uh, doing one thing and how it affects another thing. Because everything like in regard to uh, Indigenous knowledge, our, uh, our worldview and uh, all the methodologies that we use to uh, to go about uh, obtaining that knowledge is uh, in reference to uh, to the land and how everything is uh, holistic, everything is connected, everything that we think about, not, not only in, in, in our, the reality that we see, but it also connects to the dreams and even the words that we speak. All of these have energy, we're told, and all of these have influence over everything that is. So we have to be really uh, aware of, of the things that we do and the things that we say in regard to uh, what's happening with the environment right now. Uh, a lot of these, uh, these things are, are done without uh, taking into consideration how it affects any other, any other living organism or how it affects the, uh, the planet itself, how it affects the air, how it affects the people. And it's all done because of uh, greed and all because of uh, the gain of, uh, of uh, money and the gain of uh, power and influence. And it's, it doesn't talk about, it doesn't think about generational aspects of uh, what, what will happen as uh, the natural environment is uh, taken apart and things are extracted. For the mainstream society, uh, the uh, concept of indigenous knowledge is, uh, seems like it's something new. But for the people who've uh, lived under uh, that knowledge system and those methodologies, uh, this this uh, knowledge comes to us from thousands and thousands of years of uh, living on the land and of uh, existing and utilizing the land and uh, living in coexistence with all the animals and with all the uh, the environment itself. And so the knowledge was is tried, tested, and true for thousands and thousands of years. And uh, it's very important that uh, people understand the connectedness that uh, everything has to each other. And it's very important that. Uh, the relationships that, that are involved in those connectedness. And uh, in regard to indigenous, indigenous knowledge, our people see the world as a, as a holistic thing. Everything is uh, interconnected and everything is dependent and everything is uh, has a repercussions when something's done. And so uh, the, the knowledge that, uh, that is, is put forward is, uh, like I said before, tried, tested and true, but it's irrelevant in today's uh, environment in today's uh, economy in today's uh, in world with the uh, something like like climate change and now all the droughts that are happening and all the various things that are happening in the environment the fire all the fires all of these things uh, our people see and uh, they, they look at it and they see for instance like a thing like a fires the wildfires that are, that are happening right now there was a uh, point where our people lived uh, on the land and one of the things they did is they did controlled burns and these controlled burns got rid of all the uh, the dead the deadfall and underbrush and uh, when they have wildfires and uh, none of that is uh, is is cleared or is is burnt away then it uh, over a number of years it accumulates and then pretty soon you have a whole bunch of deadfall and and uh, when a wildfire grows through it just eats all that deadfall up and it singes the trees and it uh, it kills the trees and all the plants. So th there's uh, th that knowledge that our, our people had, uh, they knew that if they did certain things that uh, there'd be repercussions. And there always is repercussions no matter what it is that we do, be it uh, positive or negative. The repercussions are there and we should uh, learn to understand that everything is interconnected and everything is dependent on each other.